Hello. I saw the inscription of Ban Wang Fai. It is called the Sri Thep inscription, per Chor. 2. Or K978 is an inscription in Pallava script. Sanskrit language has one side and twelve lines. What struck me was that the inscription read, Lord Sri Bhavavaram. It's on line 11. Brief contents of the Ban Wang Fai inscription are summarized as follows. It is an inscription created on the occasion of the king's accession to the throne. By that king, he is the grandson of the emperor, who was the son of King Parthavanavaram, who was as great as King Sri Bhavavarama I. But the inscription does not indicate that who is the king mentioned in this inscription. If you read this inscription in my personal opinion, I think it means King Chitrasen, or King Mahindravaram. Let's make it easy to understand. Is King Chitrasen, he was the younger brother of King Bhavavarama I. King Bhavavarman I's father was King Sriper of Indivaram. King Chitsen, or King Mahindravarama. His father is King Sri Viravaram, and they are cousins. There is no doubt about who the inscription refers to. It shows that the Ban Wangfai inscription was created on the occasion of King Chitsen. He reigned as King Chinla after his older brother. It was King Sri Bhavavarama I, the ruler of the city that Sri Thep must have known, and praised King Chitrasen as well in the inscription of Ban Wang Phi. That has information that inscribed in the 12th Buddhist century. I would like to add a little more detailed information and specify the year, which is 1143. B. The names of kings ending in Varama are the suffixes of all kings from the Kalinga region, whether from the Cham kingdom or in the southeastern region they all spoke the same language, and came from the same region, used the same Pallava script. There are a total of 23 inscriptions of King Chitrasen. Inscriptions in Sri Thep, including the Yathama inscriptions found in Nakhon Pad Hom and in Sri Thep. Written in the Pallava script, the first version was written in Sanskrit purely in the Pallava script. In later periods, it was inscribed in the Pallava script mixed with the Kham language, that is, using only the Pallava script. But there are some messages in the Kham language. The first castle where Kham is mixed with Sanskrit in the inscription is Kauno inscription, inscribed in 1180 AD. B. In Cambodia, it is inscribed only in the Pallava script. There is Kham language mixed in as well. It is an inscription that is in the Angkor Borei Museum. Information says it was found in this city, currently in Takeo District. An inscription dated 1154 AD shows that in Cambodia the Kham language was used. When King Sri Bhavavaram is the first king of the Chenla Kingdom around 1123 AD, it was concluded that the workers who came to build the castle started using the Kham language. Around 1123 AD, the Chenla period. Previously, there were no inscriptions from the Funan period, which has the Kham language mixed into the inscriptions. Inscriptions found in various castles both in Siam and Cambodia use the Pallava script to write Sanskrit in Kham. As for the actual Kham alphabet, it has not yet been born. Nowadays, there are no Khmer letters. Because the Khmer alphabet was born during the reign of King Rama IV of Thailand. When the Kham letters were formed, I would like to emphasize that the Kham alphabet originated in Siam and used in Cambodia as well. In Siam and in Cambodia used the same Kham letters. This picture shows two contemporary cities, Sethep at Phetchabun, with the city of Sethapura at Champasak near Watfu Castle. The boundaries of the two cities may overlap. Pallava inscription of King Chitsen in the city of Bururam, it shows that Kingdom of King Chitrasen located in the Mun and Mekong River basins. And there is also the old castle base, built by King Chitrasen, located in Dong Wing To Kam Kuyan Kao District Yasathan Province at present. Where are the castle and the stone tablets? It's not meant to be a residence. His Majesty. But it means land. Or his territory, what cities has it spread to? His residence was at Sethapura, near Watfu Castle. After that, he went to stay in Phrenakon, when he became king. 
Then Sethep City began to spread its power down to the southeastern region. Sethapura City Lord Sri Bhavavaram and Frachauchitsan won a war with King Funan able to overthrow King Funan. That is, King Rudravarama can descend. King Bhavavarama I was the first king of Chinla. Later, King Mahindravaramam or King Chitrasen was established he was the king in succession to King Bhavavarama I. In the last clip, I gave a little introduction. Why do the Funan people have DNA? As with Africans, the answer is India, especially in the south. Trade with Africa and sailed later to Sriwachai, bringing slaves from Africa to northern Indonesia. Slaves arriving from Africa traveling to use labor. At Wing OKU in the Funan Kingdom. Later, they became castle building workers and lived for 1,500 years. Until being able to speak calm fluently currently, it is thought of as its own language. The results of the DNA test are as we know. Our doubts will be gone. Today I'll tell you just this. We'll tell a new story, please listen again next time. For today, goodbye.